Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Police Quest in Pursuit of the Death Angel. Now, thank you for your comments last time. Apparently, I managed to give the pen to the uh, the lady we pulled over for the speeding ticket, which soft locked myself or would have done in the future. So, I've uh, I've reloaded and off camera I have reissued the ticket but not handed over the pen. So now we've got the pen in our inventory and we're heading back to Caffeine Castle. We, uh, we got a little message saying to go there for some reason. So that is what we're doing. Um, I believe Caffeine Castle is up to the north somewhere based on, on where we are at the moment. So let's wait for the, the green light because we don't want to get a game over straight away. But I am really enjoying this so far. It's, there's a lot to remember with all of the, uh, the procedures and, and things like that. Uh, the driving is a little bit hit and miss, I'll be honest, but I think a lot of that is down to me rather than the game itself. I'm a little bit impatient with it, so we're, we're learning as we go. But the, the game itself is actually a lot of fun, I think. So um, I'm trying to think, is it this way or is it one higher than here? I don't know. Ooh, that was very close. I thought that yellow car was going to crash into us. So I think if we head left from here or west and then maybe up one more level, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we're going to leave all the driving in. You guys said you wanted me to leave the driving in and, and keep all the sort of footage like that in. So I will do that. It's not a problem at all as long as we don't keep dying. Um, respond to a complaint at Caffeine Castle. Yeah, we already got that, didn't we? Can we do Control D? Travelling north on 8th Street. Okay, I don't, I don't know that that's necessarily the right radio thing to do there, but whatever. Also, we've been told as well the diagonal keys uh, might be better for parking, so I think I'm probably going to give that a go. Yeah, here's Caffeine Castle here. So if we head west along here, uh, we will save about here, and then I will give the diagonal keys a go for, for trying to park. Oh yeah, look at that. That's much better. What is that again? Is that is that grey stuff? Okay, so that that's first death of the episode. Is that grey stuff something that that we crash into then? Because I honestly I didn't think it was, but it, it must be. Get out. Oh, it's bikes. I see. Was that there before? I'm not sure it was. Anyway, let's save because we don't want to keep dying. Uh, caffeine castle two because we're back for a second time uh let's look around this is the front of yeah blah blah blah. we already know that uh open door uh do we do we have anything in the car look at the car probably these cars they had a choice between comfort and power they picked comfort okay so let's get out so uh we'll close the door and then let's set the game speed back to fast i don't know if there's a hotkey for that i can't see one necessarily uh let's go inside what are the were these bikes here before look bike parked in front of carol's are four bad news motorcycles oh is it like biker gang or something they do look a bit like um okay look around i don't see anyone here uh coffee shop can we just this is where the, the complaint came from right talk carol Carol is obviously upset as she blurts in a loud tone of voice. Oh, Sonny, those drunken bikers in the bar next door are taking up all the parking places in front of my cafe. They just have no consideration for others. Where are my customers going to park? Would you ask them to move their motorcycles, please? Great. Another chapter in your life of big time crime stopping. Parking space hogging. All right, fine. Well, so we've got to go and tell these guys to move their bikes. Um, is this going to go smoothly? Probably not because it's uh, a Sierra game and more than likely we could die here. So they're in Wino Willies, I'm guessing. Let's, uh, let's head into this place. As he heads for the back room, the bartender mumbles under his breath, here comes trouble. The leader of this bunch comes over to you and says, well, well, if it ain't the tidy bowl man. All right, okay, fine. Guys, you're going to have to... What the F do you want, pig? Right, let's uh, look, look around. This is the worst dive in town, everything that crawls lives here, right? Let's talk to these bikers. <clears throat> What's a bike? What's a bikers? Okay, talk. Hello. Uh, okay. This ain't the kind of place for do-gooders, chump. Okay. Uh, talk, man. The animal in the black leather jacket says we don't talk to no pigs. Okay. Um, move bikes. How do you plan to make us move our bikes, wimp? 
Say goodnight, pig. We're going to kick the S-H-I-T. I'm guessing the shit out of you is supposed to be that. Um, we, we don't... Oh, okay. We're just getting beaten up. Could we have punched them? It appears you are just what these lowlifes wanted. Uh, a cop to pound on. Fight. Oh, we're dead. Oh, no. Fine. We're dead. Uh, fine. Do we have anything that could help us out here? Handcuffs, ticket book, notebook, ammunition. I mean, we've got we've got a revolver. I mean, we, we could go in there, get our gun out and, you know, do that. Okay. Stop. Fine. Get gun. You don't need it. Take out gun. You don't... Okay, fine. Move your bikes, please. Okay. Get gun. You don't... Fight. Punch. Punch man. What for, man? We ain't done nothing wrong. Arrest. It's not necessary. Uh, use hand cuffs. You don't need to do that here. Arrest man. Not 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 ma'am. <laughs> Arrest man. All they've done is hog Carol's parking. Oh, okay. Right, so we can't arrest them for it. And they're going to fight us. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Do we have... I mean, do we have anything in the trunk of the car? I believe someone said something about the trunk of the car before. Open trunk. You don't need to open it. Uh, open car? Don't need to open... Okay. Uh, hmm. Do we have anything else that we can use? Open the door. Look in car. See nothing special. Get in. Search car? You notice a nightstick and a holder on the driver's door panel. Get nightstick. Okay. So we got score for that. Get out. Close door. Apparently we can do like OD and CD as well, which is a really cool little shortcut that I didn't know about in text parser games. Uh, so we've got our nightstick. So that could help us out. So it looks like there's quite a lot of good resources in the car, but we didn't see the nightstick before. So I'm guessing what you can get out of the car changes based on what part of the game you're in. Uh, okay. Get night stick please refer to your lpd policeman's indoctrin oh, indoctrination guy okay fine um fine fine okay right move your bikes and how do you okay fine get night no no get night stick please refer to your policeman's indoctrin oh, for goodness sake Take out night stick. You don't need... Use night stick. Oh, there we go. You remove your PR24 and take a defensive stance. The head biker quickly backs down, saying, Excuse us, sir. If you're going to be rough with us, we'll just leave quietly. Come on, guys. Let's blow this joint. Yeah, that's it. You get out of here. Go on. Clear off. Yeah. Intimidation. Victory music. <laughs> the local working girl seated at the bar seems to know you. She hops from the stall and shouts, Sonny Bonds, is that you? My hero. Boy, am I glad you showed up. Those guys had some pretty strange ideas. Okay. So we, we got rid of those guys. That was not too bad at all, actually. We just needed to use the nightstick. Um, dealt with bikers. Dealt with bikers. Okay, can we talk to this lady? Talk woman. What's cooking good looking? Asks your old friend Sweet Cheeks Marie. <laughs> it's been too long, Sonny. I haven't seen you around lately. I just know you want something. Uh, can, can we look at the woman? You recognise Sweet Cheeks Marie as an old chum from high school. She obviously failed stewardess school. <laughs> so long, sweeties, says Sweet Cheeks Marie. Come see me sometime when we can spend more time, darling. Well, I mean, that was... That was... Successful-ish, I feel like died a couple of times we got the, the hang of it let's talk to carol and tell her the good news hey carol what are you doing back here again sonny carol asks i mean you called us here and we, we just saved your parking spaces outside uh right should we radio dispatch now should we have complaint resolved 
All right, cool. Maybe we should have actually radioed in when we when we got here. Close door, and we will save with Delta Bikers again. All right, well, um, okay, let's change the game speed. I always forget to do that when we get back in the car. Go back to normal. Uh, oh, the diagonal keys is such a game game changing saver isn't it it's like in um was it space quest 2 where we figured out we could use the diagonal keys to get through the plant maze thing and it saved us so much hassle right on we go with our patrol people who speed through red lights no match for us people who crash into walls and you know do all that stuff no match for us people who park their bikes in the wrong place and then try and beat us up no match for us we're um we're quickly moving up in the world of being a traffic cop aren't we in this game i say that but we've no, not really done a proper crime yet so <laughs> i assume at some point we're going to get involved in a real crime maybe with that um car that did the shooting on the, the first crime scene i don't know that is what i imagine the story is going to be about otherwise they wouldn't have mentioned it would they let's uh carry on with our patrol Score 65 out of 245, so we're, we're ticking along quite nicely. Um, not really sure how long this game is in terms of hours and things. I suppose it depends largely on how quickly you solve the puzzles, but so far, so good. Be good if there was a way of changing the lights. I wonder if you can, like, abuse the siren and flashing lights on traffic lights. So, like, you just press F10 here and speed through and then turn it off. I reckon the game wouldn't let you do that. Should we try it? Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. Um, okay. Let's try it. Let's just call it like test. Okay, fine. Uh, high speed pursuit. You observe an erratically driven vehicle and feel that the driver may have had one too many. Uh, where is... Where is that vehicle? What? I don't... I don't see a... Ah, oh dear. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Alright, another crash. So... Did that trigger be... Did that trigger because of... I don't see any erratically driving vehicles, unless it's this one. <laughs> oh no! I, I don't, I don't know if turning the siren on is what triggers that. Whether that wasn't supposed to happen. Let's see what happens if we don't use the siren here. Whether we still get that message. I oh, know we didn't. Oh yeah, we did. Where, where is this erratically driving? Oh, is it that yellow one? Oh, that was very. Oh no, it's this pink one. Pull over! Pull over! Pull over. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Straight into the wall! Oh, it's so difficult to drive when you're in the, the pursuit mode thing. Alright, but at least we know which car it is now, right? So we can just... We can just wait for it, I guess. It's the yellow one, right? Which... So it, it like, does a zigzaggy thing? Is it that yellow one coming down on the left? I don't know that it is, honestly. I can't see it now. I wonder if turning our sirens on at that moment is bugging it slightly? Because it doesn't seem to actually spawn in if we have the siren on, which is weird. So let's just... Uh, let's, let's just wait again. Wait for it. Okay, so it's gone green. Yeah, look, see, it's the blue car behind us, right? Or is it this pink one? Yes, yeah, the pink one behind us. Right, so let's turn around and we'll. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh, the driving is so difficult. Why is the driving so difficult? So is it is it going through this light? Oh, look, you can change the lights by going through there. Oh, I can see it now. Look, it's over there. Wee-woo, wee-woo. Uh, mate, 
Yes, okay. He slowly pulls to the right, jumps the curb, and comes to a stop. Okay, save. Uh, we'll just save over test and call it Drunk Driver. Oh, we're doing really well. Um, let's get out. Ah, here we go, right. Drunk Driver, we'll save over that. And I'll tell you what, guys, we are pretty much out of time. So we'll interrogate this drunk driver in the next one. Maybe give him a ticket, I don't know. But um, things are ticking along nicely. I'm really enjoying this game. It's very, very good. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldrich Hobo, and Numinous. And I'll see you next time.